Alright, so check it out. On today's video, I'm going to be showcasing the three new ninja tools and tier listing them as well. And once I do that, I'm going to be showing you guys where they spawn. And uh, yeah, if you haven't yet, for some reason, please smash that like button. Let's try to hit 300 likes on this video. And if you happen to be new to the channel, then smash that subscribe button as well. And turn on all notifications so you don't miss out on my latest content. Check it out. We're currently at 33,800 subscribers. Help me bounce to that 40,000 ASAP. I would yeah, really it. Nice. Alright, we're gonna start by showcasing the Empire Guitar Weapon. So my boy Sad is gonna be showcasing it. Before he showcases it, check out the detail, look how it looks. Looks pretty good, not bad. So this weapon is pretty good, bro. Like the damage it does, and yeah, like not only the damage, you could combo extend and knock back the range. Everything about this weapon is just, just a different breed, to be honest. So enough of me talking, Sad, take it from here. Showcase the Q-Spec real quick. Check it out, the knockback in this situation wasn't that, that much, but if you usually use it on the ground, it usually knocks back your opponent more. And the damage on it, it hits your opponent up to four times, bro. Each take does 30k, so it could add up to like 120k. So that's a lot of damage. And then once you use it, you could combo extend by using Flying Rajin or Time Stop. Move like that and then doing your combo. And you could literally one-shot your opponent, bro. I would give this um, weapon a mid-A in my opinion. Because like I said, bro, the knockback on it is pretty good. The way you could do a combo extend makes it more good and the damage good so mid air mid air fix yeah. it perfectly i opinion. would put it i would put it at a mid air i would agree with salem because for 120k damage that sounds pretty good in my mind for a combo extender or a combo ender and the combos that you could hit with this thing and like uh you could also like stop people's combos and like extend your combos even longer for 120k damage, that's a lot. Oh, yeah, I just feel like we're repeating the combo extend way too much. Yeah, so y'all get the gist, bro. This weapon is pretty good when it comes to, you know, combo extenders. So if you love doing combo extenders, this weapon is your weapon. Yeah, so what do you think, guys? Yeah, what tier list would you give it? Uh, I'm, in, in my opinion, I would give that middle class B because for some because some people will try to use it to cancel other people's combos. And sometimes it might not hit because you know how the game is. And... I, that's what I feel like. I just give I give it a mid class B. I know that it's a really it's a really good weapon. Yes, it's a really good weapon. It got dust goes for 120k, but I have to look at it realistically and say yeah, I'm gonna have to give it a mid class B just because yeah, I mean, it might I not. Would, I would I think, low key wait hold on hold on. I would low key low key like not really agree with you, but a little bit agree with you because yeah, at the end of the day, it depends the user. But again, it's a new right. weapon and the range on it. And yeah, it's just the range, and it's not really hard to land by the looks of it. So I'm gonna disagree with you because yeah, and yeah, also I I would land, disagree bro. with you also because like with that move, uh, it aims like where your cursor is aiming. So even if your like opponent is somewhere else, like where you're aiming, you could just uh, aim your crosshair at them and just hit them. That's oh, why yeah, it has an advantage. Oh, yeah, like I said, Isaiah, bro, it depends on the user, bro. I agree with you because if the user is not like really skilled with this weapon, then. He's not gonna really do combo extenders and not really use it right, you know. But when yeah, it comes yeah. to somebody that has this weapon for a while and knows how to use it, then it's clear for you, bro. You better dip. Yeah, so, I can see where you're coming from because the hitbox is kind of small. It's yeah, kind of yeah. like the middle and like. I mean, nah, nah, it's not small, bro. Wait, wait, get on the ground real quick and uh, use the Q spec. Don't be that close. No, like Just, it's uh, right in the middle. Hitbox, right in the middle, bro. it's not small. I use it, bro. Okay. Oh wait, hold up, hold up. You moved up. Stay like in one place. Don't move. I'll right, move to the side just a bit to see if it hits. Yeah, if you move a bit and it doesn't hit, then... Yeah. I might have to agree with Isaiah. Nope, it hit. I see, yeah, I, see I see, I see. How so many you times see that, the, So there's like a middle circle, and like the middle circle, the small little circle, is the hitbox. So look, if you try to do it again... Oh, my bad. If you try to do it again, uh, uh, try to do it again real quick. I think I'll be able to step out of it. Yeah, like right here. See? Oh, I can just okay. step right out of it. Yeah, so, I mean... I, mean, I, would still I don't give think, it, a I think it would be good for an individual. I would still keep it at, like, it's... Uh, bro, I like, would still keep it at its tearing. If I had the weapon, look audible, bro. It's not really that hard to land, because most people, like... Look, listen, by the time you get this weapon, your max rank, or you've played this game... That's facts. ...a good amount of time, you feel me? So, like... You'll know what you're doing. So, like, yeah. all you have to do to land this is just be close to your opponent or just dash towards him and then use a Q spec and then boom, yeah. easy plan. So, it's not really that it, hard. So I'm going to stick with mid A. 
yeah. I would keep it at mid A because, and then again, you could still aim it. So even if they do go out of the hitbox, you could just aim it. You could just aim your cursor. And it'll just. Alright, so it. yeah, with that being said, we're gonna give this weapon a mid A. So yeah, I'm about to show you guys where it spawns, and then we're gonna move on to the next weapon. Alright, so yeah, I'm about to show you guys where it spawns the Empire Guitar Ninja Tool. So yeah, just follow where I go, follow my path. Let's get it. Alright, this is where the Empire guitar spawns, and yeah, with that being said, moving on to the next weapon. Alright, next weapon is going to be the Bubble Flute weapon, spawns at 1.40 AM, and uh, it's pretty good, bro. The Q spec on it is not that bad. The range, not that bad, but honestly, I feel like it's kind of hard to land. It just depends on the user. For this one, it strictly depends on the user. If the user is really good at using this weapon, then it's pretty good, bro. Like, once you land the move on on your opponent, then it's clear for them. You could easily combo extend and go crazy on them. So, let me show you what I'm talking about. You said, off the weapon, bro. Show off the Q spec real quick. So, check it out. Nice. I mean, he landed. Oh, that's time. nice. It's that pretty hard to land, bro. But, like I said, once you land it and you get your opponent in that bubble, it's clear for them, bro. Mm -hmm. You can use flying Rajin or whatever you want to use. And anything. Combo on the M1 end. extending. Anything. So, that's what makes it really good. But I think I would put it at like, uh, I think I would put it at like a mid B. First of all, because the close range, the cooldown is pretty long, but it's still really good for combo extending because it might not do as much damage as like a normal like weapon would do, but it still stuns. Like, and you could uh, combo extend with that. It's really good. And I think that you could do it like mid combo while someone's comboing you. So you kind of, so you could kind of like stop people's combo and stuff. Yeah, I low-key agree I, with you. Yeah, the sole purpose yeah. It's okay. the best. So wait, yeah, I'm not over cutting off, bro. But yeah, I low-key agree with you, bro. But at the same time, Nah, I would give it like a low tier B because it's kind of hard to land. So, yo, sad, try to use it again and this time try to land it on me. I'm gonna like move around. Not that fast, but a little bit. Oh, All right, okay, the hitbox is pretty big. All right, not bad. Way. All right, let's try it one more time. If he lands it this time, then I'm gonna give it a mid tier B. Probably a high tier B. Yeah. So it looks like it auto tracks a bit. Yeah. Yeah, so mid I, I low key underestimated it, bro. The hitbox yeah. is actually better than I thought. So, yeah, I'm gonna give it. I feel like I should give it a high tier B, bro, because it's not hard to land. And like I said, bro, once you land That's it, it's clip. It's clip, bro. I know, but like, so. at the same time, I would put it, uh, I would disagree with that and put it at a mid tier B because you're not just going to be staring at your opponent like this. Like, you're going to have like lightning cloak on and like stuff that moves Yo, you around. Yo, you're fast. right, bro. I haven't been playing this game f like that much, so you're looking yeah. right, bro. Like, totally there's, forgot about there's the not going to be a situation where you're just going like this. Yep. Yep. So the modes are going to low key like, ruin this this weapon because it's going to make it really difficult to yeah. land because once your opponent has a mode it's going to be moving really quickly bro yeah but it oh, looks yeah. like auto track so that's why it looks like it has a bit of actually wait hold on hold on hold on hold before we can like fully rate it let me move quicker this time like really quick and try yeah. to actually no let me do it, with the it. I'll do it with the lightning code thing all right yeah you no, no as I move out okay okay so yeah you can easily dodge it by just running in circles so, you know I think it would be a mid tier B or in between a low tier B and a mid tier B. Yeah, I'm like, gonna give it a low tier, bro. Because I totally forgot about the mode. So, it's gonna be low key impossible to land if your opponent has a mode. And 90%, matter of fact, 96, 99% of the time your opponent has a mode. What am I saying? In my, in yeah. my, opinion, in my opinion, I give it a high a high tier C. That is, that is not, that is not really, it's not really good for me. I give it a high tier C. And the reason why I'm going this low. Cause just because of the cooldown, the cooldown is ridiculous. 
in the end the cooldown is ridiculous but isaiah like i said bro if the opponent knows how to use it like me personally i would know how to use a weapon like that. i would easily like wait till i could dash to my opponent and you could easily approach your opponent like but if you really want to get close to your opponent it's not that hard so yeah, i would like, like get close to my opponent right dash and then use a q spec right away and then yeah boom, like i would you know, use i would use like like uh demon shuriken or demon substitution to get close to him and then do the and then do the um the bubbles and just start combo yep. standing. Like I was saying, bro, that's what makes it a B tier, bro. Because the the user knows how to use it, and most of the time, like I said, these weapons are new, and mm -hmm. people that usually play this game a lot and max yeah. ranks usually get these kind of weapons, and they most likely know how to use it. So if they know how to use it, then it's pretty OP. So I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna leave it at low tier B, bro. No more, me, bro. no more, and no less. That's gonna be. These perfect. people in the Shindo life, yeah, bro, they do life. not. They. They use these weapons smartly, bro. Not even go cat. True, true, true. Okay. No more, no less. I, I give it, okay. Then I give it a low tier B at the most. All right, so yeah. So low tier B. Everybody's giving it a low tier B. So yeah, low tier B it is. Now I'm about to show you guys where it spawns. And then move on to the last weapon, which is, what is it called again? The sound flu. Yes, sir. So yeah, moving on to the location for this weapon. All right, guys. I'm about to show you guys where the bubble flu spawns. All right, so with that being said, just follow me. And I'm going to lead the way to the spawn location for it. Let's get it. All right, here's the spawn location for the bubble flute weapon. So yeah, this is spawn location for it. And with that being said, moving on to the last weapon, the sound flute weapon, yes sir. All right, next up is going to be the sound fluid weapon, which happens to be the last weapon, yes sir. So check it out. All my boys went to sleep and I'm the only one who's still awake trying to push this video out for y'all. So hook it up for your boy like I'm hooking you guys up with this banger by smashing that like button if you haven't yet for some reason. But yeah, with that being said, I'm about to show off the Q spec for the sound fluid. Then quickly wait it and then show you guys where it spawns. And yeah, with that being said, yo bro, show off the Q spec real quick. So yeah, that's the sound flu for y'all. It has two separate moves. And one of the moves do about three takes, I believe. I'm not really sure, don't take my word for it. But for sure, each take does about 7.5k damage. So this weapon is pretty good, bro. It's not that bad. But compared to the other ones, it's pretty decent. So I'm going to personally give this one a low tier B. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section and what um, tier level you would have gave it if you were in my shoes. But yeah, in this case, I'm going to give it a lower tier B level. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I'm about to show you guys where it spawns. Alright guys, I'm about to show you guys where the sound flute spawns. So yeah, just follow me and I'm going to lead you guys to the spawn location for the sound flute weapon. And with that being said, let me lead the way. Let's get it. And uh, yeah, that's where it spawns. This world shall know pain. 